Amen. Amen. And to the church of God and saints of Christ, to the bishop, Bishop Frank G. Henson, to the chief evangelist, to the evangelist at large, to the evangelist, elders of Israel, grandmother Sarah, grandfather Abraham, daughters of Jerusalem, sisters of mercy and sons of God's prophet. We have had a enjoyable time in this place. Amen. Virtually alike as well as in person. Amen. And to God, we tell him we're much obliged for being so good, kind, and sweet to all of us. It's so good to see so many smiling faces on the virtual airways. Amen. It's also good to see, have been able to see those who we had not seen in quite a while in the in-person service. I Amen. thank the general secretary for those very detailed and awesome announcements. And I congratulate and salute all of those appointments and elevations. And uh, you know, technology sometimes can be something. Mm. Um, so sometimes, you know, you, you can send, send a message and uh, the message may have not gone through. Mm -hmm. uh, has that ever happened to anyone? Oh, yes. That you sent a text message, you thought you sent the message only to find out it didn't go through? Mm. I believe there are a few announcements that still are left uh, in the airway, but I want to take this time to appoint to the Sab General Sabbath School as the secretary, St. Sherry Hunt. Amen. Amen. St. Sherry Hunt is now the General Sabbath School's secretary. Amen. The church Amen. is moving. Oh, yes. I, I said the church is moving. She has a lot left yet to do. Yes, she does. And I believe our General Sabbath School superintendent is eagerly anticipating uh, the work that is going to be assigned to this department of our education. Amen. I also want to appoint to the Ministry of Defense, Brother Stanley Turpin. All right. He is now a part of the Ministry of Defense. Amen. Amen. We salute him. And we pray God to continue to shower down blessings upon him. Amen. I, I, I believe we, we have to get him prepared at a young age. Yes. Because if we don't grab him, Bishop, this wicked world in which we live in will take him and grab him and shake them. Mm. And we want to make sure this church grabs them while they while they yet have the fervor. Amen. The energy, no distractions. That's right. Say so, Amen. sir. Say so. I'm grateful to God. I, I, I say, well, we'll stop there. But yet there's still some more to do. Uh, but I say, come to the general, come to the annual assembly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I believe we'll keep on moving and moving and moving. I want to also, by way of announcement, say that the voice of the people will be working on collecting data, information, as this movement, this Joshua generation movement, will begin to adopt a code of ethics mm. for our organization. This code of ethics is going to be discussed in our third quarter, and we will launch this code of ethics at our annual assembly. This code of ethics is to foster love for one another. Amen. Respect and self-respect for ourselves mm -hmm. as well as others. All right. To begin to be culturally sensitive, mm -hmm. we, we have to have, and we will have modules. We're going to develop modules where every leadership, every member, will begin to learn and be educated, trained on how to speak with respect. Hmm. 
So this code of ethics is something we're going to compile and we are going to hand this into not only the voice of the people, but also myself included will help frame what this code of ethics will look like so that we can have respect, not just from the pulpit to the pew, hmm. but also from the pew to the pulpit. Amen. And so Amen. we're looking for this to be a global adoption Amen. of what this church is going to embrace. Let me also acknowledge and announce Elder Robert Brown. Is he, is he in the building? Elder Robert Brown has earned a doctorate of philosophy Amen. in Christian counseling Amen. from the Newburgh Theological Seminary and Christian College. Amen. Elder Robert Brown, can I now call you Dr. Elder Robert Brown? Amen. We're grateful for you and we're proud religiously proud of your accomplishments. Amen. Can, can we put our hands together and say amen for Elder Doctor, Elder Robert Ryan. Amen. JG, the movement it is on the move. Let the church say we're on the move. We're on the move. I, I, can't, I can't hear you. Let, let's just say we're on the move. We're on the move. Uh, the JG is on, on the move. This, this, this movement, we're, we're moving. We're going at a pace. I believe you better strap in your seatbelt. We're on the move. The Joshua generation, the movement. We will have our initial worship experience on Saivan, commonly called June hmm. the 11th, 2022. Is that a Sabbath? That's a Sabbath day hmm. in the city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. All right now. JG, we're on the move. On the move. We're going to have an initial service in the city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. All right now. Where we will look at ways of establishing the banner of the Church of God and Saints of Christ, JG style. Amen. In Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Amen. Let the church say we're on the move. We're on the move. I, I'm move. looking all over this Zoom line. I, I see. I, I see Kansas. I see Texas. Yes. I, 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 see, I see you coming. We're, we're on the move. We're on the move. Uh, making our way throughout this great land hmm. of the United States of America, Canada, Jamaica, and South Africa. We're on the move. We're on the move. I want to just take this opportunity to 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 explain to the church. I like what you said, Elder Williams. Uh, just give a teachable moment. God's prophet gave us headdress, gave, gave us crowns, gave us three-cornered hats. And, and these particular headdress, they, they are, they're specific and they represent authority and power. Because the headdress covers the head that contains our thoughts. They cover the head dress and it shows nobility and the different styles denotes and represents the different offices in our church organization. Mm -hmm. The grandfather Abraham, he has a helmet that has a white feather on it. This is a sign that denotes a powerful symbol of truth and purity. And taking on the feathers of this, it, it shows a focus of one's energy on living just and holy. It's purity. Mm -hmm. It's truth. Similarly, our grandmother Sarah at our next Passover will also have a part of her full regalia, a white crown denoting purity and truth. 
So our father and our mother of the church, the grandmother Sarah, and the grandfather Abraham will have a dawn on their head, holding and containing the, the thoughts and their, 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 their nobility, truth and purity. Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. We're thankful for them. We also have our chief evangelist that wears the helmet. He is the defender. Come on. We want to make sure as he puts on the breastplate of righteousness that he has the helmet of salvation hmm. because he has to go out and battle this gospel of Jesus Christ for the church of God and saints of Christ. It is adorned as a hard helmet because he has to do the hard work. Hmm. He has to do the hard task to lead us into where God has and is taking us. We thank God for our chief evangelist. Amen. The chancellor of the church is a, an ecclesiastical position that is used in the Joshua generation movement Amen. to serve as a guidance and as a source of advisory and counsel. His headdress is denoting royalty, wisdom, and steadfastness. So the headdress for our council, our chancellor, is covering us, protecting us, hmm. is a denotation denote to us that he is covered with wisdom, Amen. royalty, and steadfastness. Amen. We thank God for our chancellor. Oh, yes. Bishop Frank G. Henson. Yes, we do. And we thank God for this church of where we are headed. Oh, yes. Last but definitely not least in announcements, I've been hearing all week long the excitement, the enthusiasm of our new purchase of our international edifice in the city of Shaker Heights, Cleveland, Ohio area, on Chagrin Boulevard. I now give a renaming of sorts. No longer is it referred to as Shaker Heights, but it is now the promised land. All right, Bishop. It's the promised land. All right. Moses. Bishop Stallings, our modern day Moses. Yes, yes. He paved the path for us. <laughs> JG, he, he, he made a pathway smooth for us. And even in the biblical days, Moses may have not been able to make it into the promised land. Come on. But... <laughs> With all power that is invested in me, we're going to carry a piece of Moses yes. into that promised land. All right now. Do you want to go with me, church? Yes, Can you journey with me to the promised land? Yes. I, I know what the, the, the city providence may call it, but, but for the, the Joshua generation movement, it is the promised land. All right now. For the saints of God to dwell in. I, I'm excited. Yes. Uh, I, I heard you, Chief. Uh, can you tell? I, I'm excited. And I, I'm glad you, you left a long runway for, for me today, uh, a, a long uh, runway on the tarmac to be able to stretch out, to close out this Feast of the Lord's Passover Come on, Bishop. and Days of Unleavened Bread. Let me also <laughs> follow the Spirit and, and, and say to St. Lynette, I, I heard your testimony today. You, you were baptized this week. Mm -hmm. you, you were changed this week. Amen. You, you went through a metamorphosis of sort. And, and I want to also extend that from even a organizational uh, metamorphosis that, that I want to restore you as a coarser in the choir of the Church of God and Saints of Christ. Amen. Amen. I don't, you, wherever you've been sitting, you sit in that coarser seat. Do what God has instructed and assigned 
to your hands. Mm. Direct, sing, praise, and give adoration unto the Lord our God. Amen. I said, I'm excited, saints. Oh, yes. I'm excited. It's restoration time. Yes, it is. It's time for, for, for healing. It's time for, for chains to be broken. Special thanks to every department this week that has served in this great week of Passover Amen. and days of unleavened bread. Every minister, male and female, thank you. Hmm. Every deacon, thank you. Amen. Every singer of Israel, thank you. Yes. Every choir official, Thank you. Every daughter of Jerusalem, sister of mercy, and son of God's holy prophets. Thank you. Thank you to the greatest chief evangelist mm, mm, mm. of the pulpit everywhere. Yes. For running a power packed week of, yes, holy convocation. Amen. That's what it, that's what it is. The yes. Bible calls it that. Yes. It will be a holy convocation to us. Oh, yes. You have done an outstanding work for the Lord Amen. and his church. Thank you to evangelist Oliver Bruce Daly, Amen. the general information officer, yes. for monitoring this great technology that we have. Amen. Thank you. Thank you to evangelist James Alvin Cook Sr who navigated our hybrid Passover mm -hmm. with the virtual presence while we were in a physical experience. Nice. We thank those who helped him, St. Myra, sorry, St. Don, St. Jennifer, and St. Kakia Crockett, Amen. who assisted our general information officer as well as our general secretary. Amen. And also he prepared and performed a baptism and an in-person experience on this past week. Amen. Thank you to the Ministry of Intercession hmm. under the direction of our chaplain, Elder J. Charles Williams and staff. Amen. Thank you to the convention coordinator, St. Adrian Bradshaw, our Amen. grand leader. Amen. St. Asia Devon, who prepared the hotels. Amen. And our general trustees and the full staff of the Sentinel Committee, who was headed by St. Kakia Crockett Amen. and St. Felicia Wynn, a.k.a. Sis, Amen. and the entire staff. Amen. Thank the Grandmother Sarah. Thank you, Grandmother Sarah, My for God. getting the granddaughter's auxiliary together. Yes. All week long, preparing our communion and the services of the Lord, as well as our YCILM. Yes. The staff, along with St. Regina Witherspoon. Amen. And the youth for an insightful, joyful, and comical breakfast that we were able to have oh, yes. in our in-person experience. I thank you. Yes. Thank you to the United States Special Daughters. Amen. For the wonderful token of love extended to me and for your work for this church. Amen. Thank you for the charitable workers, for their work for this past year, for their acts of kindness at the Passover where they gave to the homeless shelter Amen. in Baltimore, Maryland. Mm. Thank you. Thank you to the Joy Ministry for a mighty service and a tribute yes. to our Joy Saints on the other day. Amen. Thank you again the singers, for their contribution to the in-person experience, the worship service, that, worship service that was directed and conducted by our general Corster yes. and our assistant chief Corster Amen. and the entire choir quorum. Thank you for your outpouring of your gifts Amen. and your tokens of love. Thank you to the general trustees for handling our finances for the entire year and especially during our Passover Thank them, Bishop. under the direction Amen. of the great chairman, St. Tanya Wade. Amen. Thank you to our grand trustees 
who did an outstanding job opening up our Passover with, with all of the delicacies that we remember from back a few years ago before the pandemic. Uh -huh. the, the corned beef sandwiches. Yes. Uh, the, the pickles and the peanuts. Y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. the, thank you, Grand Trustees. Amen. That was conducted and directed by St. Kakia Crockett and her staff. Amen. Thank you to the Integrative Medical Ministry for keeping us safe with the safety protocols Amen. as we entered into uncharted territories of having an in-person Passover experience mm -hmm. under the direction of St. Patrice Harrison, Amen. our nurse practitioner, Amen. along with her team. Thank you to the Ministry of Defense, Elder James Bradshaw, and Mother Sarah Terry Williams Amen. for your work, for all of what you have done on this past week. Thank you to our virtual choir, St. Tanea Wade, Amen. General Singer, Secretary and Treasurer. Also, the General, hmm. Ebony Baskin, Amen. for ushering us these last leg of our journey oh, yes. with our melodious music Beautiful. that was sending us into a heavenly realm. Amen. Thank you to Evangelist Juanita Hayes for organizing the Daughters Ministry Amen. all week long with all of their assignments and keeping them well connected to what is going on in their church. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. To the rabbi and the rabbinical staff Come on, Bishop. for their work this past week. Yes. And yes. all of the service that you have exhibited to the Lord on this past week of Passover. Thank you. To the Chancellor, Bishop Frank G. Henson, yes. for being a source of wisdom and a pillar of strength Amen. to this movement that is the Joshua generation. Amen. Thank you to every minister for the thoughts, moments of encouragement as we have navigated and embraced and are embracing mm -hmm. the manifestation. And as we carved out each letter, in the word manifest, yes. we thank you. Thank you for your, the scriptures. Thank you for the communion. Amen. Thank you for all of the solos. I mentioned, and I want to mention, the saints that we have seen across the shores hmm. in South Africa. Amen. We thank you, evangelists at large, for being a great liaison to our saints and our brothers and sisters across the shores. Amen. Also, Chief Evangelist for being a great liaison to our saints in Jamaica. Amen. And all of our churches in the United States and in Canada. I want you all to know you made the difference. All right. In making this an enjoyable feast of the Lord's Passover and days of unleavened bread. Thanks again to the charitable workers for lifting the offerings and their fundraising contributions oh, yes. this week. Amen. Thank you to the CFO, our chief financial officer, oh, yes. Elder Daniel Lee Baskin, for a powerful presentation Amen. of our new international headquarters, Amen. the promised land. I want you to know, Elder Baskin, your work is not in vain in the Lord. I appreciate what you have done, and God is going to continue to bless you. Yes. I said we're on the move. Oh, yes. We can't go any further. All of the work that has been done without showing a, a measure of gratitude. Mm -hmm. Thank you to the shepherds. Thank you to the saints. Thank you to everybody that is on this platform on today. I, I, was, I was thinking, as I was sitting there listening to the worship service and listening to the testimonies. And before I go into the uh, formal close, I want you to know one thing, church. If they cannot treat you right, I want you to hold on to this. If they can't treat you right, they can't teach you right. My God. Come uh, on, you can't God. trust them to, to, to teach you right 
if you're not being treated wow. right. Come on. I'm not talking just wow. about church. Wow. I'm talking about in life. Yes. If they can't treat you fair, they can't treat you right, you can't trust them to teach you the right way. We're opening church. Yes, yes. We were opened up this week with a powerful message by our chief evangelist with our cleansing of the priests. Yes, yes. A yes. message we needed to hear, which says we need a cleansing. Mm -hmm. On the first night, our keynote preacher, Sister Elder Gloria Stewart, our U.S. exhorter, who preached redemption through the blood. Yes. yes. First day, Bishop Henson, he started us off on that day with the fact of a backyard religion. Mm -hmm. The next day, the ministers begin to pass the baton with the words of manifest, starting with our chaplain, who said, Master, make me mature. Yes, yes. He passed that along to Evangelist Hayes My that God. said, had the letter A, mm -mm -mm. ask anything and you shall have it. My God. The sermon on that day came from a dynamic man of God. Evangelist James Cook, our general secretary, poured out to us too much of me mm, mm, mm. and not enough of him. My God. Keep on marching. Yes, yes. The next day, Elder Baskin started us off with the letter N and stated to us, now, living in the now. Mm -hmm. The chief preached that evening the power of a foolish story. The next day, which was also the Sabbath day, Dr. Elder Robert Brown had the letter I, mm -hmm. and he stated about intimacy, yes. being close and personal mm -hmm. with the master. Yes, yes. On the next day, Sister Elder Roach, she gave a very descriptive presentation as she had the letter F and left us with a phrase, girl, restore, and a woman, heal. My God. As she walked into the manifestation of faith. Mm -hmm. While our evangelists, all the way from the host tabernacle, evangelist Oliver Bruce Daly set the record straight on that day and said, he is risen. Oh, yes. The next day, our granddaughters, Gorm, jumped straight onto Zoom. And let me just tell you, uh, when we unplugged from Zoom and went in person, we were just like our cell phones. We, we, we were good for a little while, but we needed to plug back in. Uh -huh. we, we, we needed to recharge. We needed to, we needed to get, get recharged back with the rest of the saints. And on that day, Grand Lynn started us off and said, Let's get a spark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Elder John G. Hammonds had the letter E. He spoke about energy. Yes. The energy of our exodus. The preacher on that day came from the woman of God, Sister Elder Deborah Hammonds, the Grand Rachel, who spoke about checking your fire. Amen. The next day was the sixth day. Sister Elder Pamela Johnson had the letter Yes. Yes. Informed us of our Savior. Mm, mm, mm. We also heard from the VOP's representative, St. Irene Davis. Didn't she do it? Yes, she did. St. Irene told us that there was darkness before light. Mm. Grandfather Abraham was the preacher, and he talked about fruitfulness, being fruitful. Mm -hmm. On the last evening, we heard a spirited message from the man of God, Elder James Bradshaw, mm -hmm. the assistant Deacon Stephen was asked three questions. What is your focus? Mm -hmm. What are you focused on? Amen. And who is your focus? My God. What a mighty word. Today, we heard from our at large who had the letter T. As he brought it into the home stretch, he said there is a turning point. Yes, yes. Sneeze out negativity, sneeze out doubt, mm -mm -mm. cynicism, pessimistic thinking, stress and worry, 
we're going to keep on turning things around yes. because we're at the turning point. And the man of God today, yes. Elder Melvin Williams, who told us about there's only one way. Mm -hmm. One of my friends, Chief, shared this voicemail with me, and I want to impart this to the saints. I believe it's befitting for closing out this spirit-filled Passover because we've been in this bubble, so to speak, mm -hmm. this protective custody spiritually where we don't want to really go back into the world because we feel safe and protected. Mm -hmm. He shared this voicemail with me, and I believe if you have some spring cleaning of your own to do, this may help you out. He said on his voicemail, Elder Williams, you have received my voicemail. I'm making some changes. If I do not call you back, you are one of them. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. I want to just say as I close, wow. I want to say as I close, as I hear Bishop Stallings in my spirit, go forward. All right. Go forward. Amen. Undergirded that we have everything we need to go forward. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter two, verse 14, gives us the framework of our conclusion of this Passover. Mm -hmm. I have a confession, St. Tickle, that there's some things that I cannot, it just irks my nerve. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you the truth? Yes. I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't like to get behind people that don't know how to drive. Mm. You, you know, when you're on the road, and, and, and the rules of courtesy is while you're driving, if you're in the, the passing lane uh, or in the fast lane you, and someone's trying to get behind you, go forward. Uh -huh. you, you know when you're emerging and people just won't let you in the lane, you have to slam on your brakes because they are just not courteous. Mm -hmm. I don't like individuals like that when they get in the left lane and want to drive slow in the left lane and then and, and they're, they're as if they not have nowhere else to go. Mm -hmm. If you don't have nowhere to go, you should get over in the right lane. Amen. You 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 about to get the gospel according to ludicrous. <laughs> Move. Get out the way. Don't uh -huh. don't play holy on uh -huh. me. Don't, don't act like you've been saved all your life. But 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 just the other day, I was at a stoplight, Sister Elder Powell, and the light turned green. The car in front of me didn't move. I waited a few seconds and he didn't move. I politely, St. Sherry, tapped on the horn. Still didn't move. I eased the car up, Deacon Davis, just to the rear bumper. Still didn't move. I started waving in the back. Still didn't move. Light went from yellow to red. Now, I'm upset. Then it dawned on me, St. Stacy, that we all can relate that there is nothing worse than being behind someone that doesn't know when it's time to move on. My God. Come on, Bishop. Uh, we don't got nowhere else to go till the sun goes down oh, anyway. You got a word, Bishop. You got a I word. Got uh, isn't it frustrating to be behind an individual or behind something or someone mm -hmm. when they don't know when to go forward? Let the yeah. church say go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Message, Bishop. Uh, uh, there, there are some things as we go forward, we can discern when the light of life has changed. Mm -hmm. We have to discern that, church. And I'm no longer talking about driving anymore, Elder Baskin. I'm talking about life, our spiritual life. St. Jennifer, uh, we, we, when we look at this, we don't, when we, we don't sh shout when it gets to our hands. Mm. We, we don't need to wait until the blessing is in our hands. We shout over the fact that before it got into our hands, it was in the master's hands. Amen. My God, this, this reminds me uh, that, that, that nothing will come into our life mm -hmm. that, that has not been through the hands of God. Amen. It, it's about whose hands it's in. 
it that makes the difference. Can I show you? I bought a witness and I'm I'm really in my seat. Put a paintbrush in my hand and I'll, I'll, I'll give it back to you, but, 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 but it won't become anything, uh, wouldn't look like no art at all, but, but, but you place the paintbrush in the hands of Da Vinci and he will make a masterpiece uh -huh. oh, because yeah. all it depends on whose hands it's in. Mm -hmm. you, you put a rod in my hand, I'll shake it up and down and treat it like a shepherd's staff to lead a choir in the church of God and say, but, but it put it in the hands of Moses mm. and he will open up the Red Sea. My God. Because it all depends on whose hands it's in. That's true. Put a slingshot in my hand and it's nothing but a childhood toy. But when you put it in the hands of David, Bishop. he will slay a giant. Come on. Because it depends on whose hands it's in. Oh, Go yes, forward. Yes, yes, yes. Put some mud in my hands. Yes. And, and I'll make a mud pie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 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 you put it in the Lord's hand. Yes, sir. He will anoint the eyes of the blind. My God. And they will receive their sight. Because it all depends on whose hands it's in. That's true. Put some fish, bandless, in and bread in my hands. And I'll make me a fish sandwich, mm -hmm. but, but, but put it in the hands of the Lord, yes. and he will bless it. Yes, God. He will break it. Yes. He will multiply it. Yes. And because it all depends mm -hmm. on whose hands Come on, Bishop. it's in. Come on. Uh, but, but put a nail and wood in my hands, uh -huh. and I'll build you a halfway decent birdhouse. Mm -hmm. But put it in the Lord's hands. Come on. And he will save the entire world. My God. Because it depends on whose hands it's in. Yes. Uh, uh, all I want to tell you is it's all in his hands. Yes, it is. God's got it all in his hands. No matter how great or small. Yes, sir. He's the master of it all. God's got it all in his hands. Yes, sir. I'm not. LJ, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a, a football enthusiast. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 I'm more of a basketball uh, guru. I, uh -huh. I believe it's, it's easier to kind of figure basketball out uh -huh. because of bandless. It's, it's, it's five players to watch uh, on one side of the field or, or court versus eleven players on the football field. Right, and, uh, right, right. I was watching and I was looking at, at, at a football game at one point in time. Uh, De Deacon Davis, and, and it dawned on me real quick. It, it dawned on me, and I started to understand it, Rabbi. I, I said, I think I figured this out. So I called one of my good friends that is a football enthusiast, uh -huh. and I said, man, that's pretty cool how that the, the coach on the sidelines is able to communicate with the quarterback on the field. I said, man, that was pretty interesting. It was, it's a pretty neat tool. I wish basketball had something like that where they could talk from the sidelines to the point guard or any other key players that's on the court. And, and then he said that they're not talking. That coach isn't talking to the quarterback. I said, well, he has these headphones on and he has a microphone and he's, he's mumbling and uttering words out of his, his mouth saying the key. I said, well, who is he talking to? He, he said, he's the coach on the field. Mm -hmm. There's another coach that you can't see that's in the press box. Mm. That coach that's in the press box, he is looking at the field and he's calling the plays down to the coach on the ground. Wow. So they can send plays in with the players. All right. I said, wait a minute, Chief. I, I think I got it. I, I said, so you're meaning to tell me there's a coach on the field and he can't operate anything on that field unless he gets the commands Come on, Bishop. from the coach that he can't see, I see it. in the press box. Yes. I, I said, now nah, I think you I think you're really messing with me. Ah. He said, I, I, I said, but 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 listen to this. I said. There's a coach, I think you're going to get it, that's in the press box mm -hmm. that we cannot see. Yes, yes. And he is operating everything. My God. That is going on on the ground. Come on, Bishop. And nothing can happen on the ground unless the coach that's in the press box that we can't see is giving the instructions 
to the coach that's on the field. I, I, I feel like shouting right now because, <laughs> because let me bring you here for, for a minute. Anything and everything that you're going through on the ground mm -hmm. is being guided and conducted. Hello. Coach in the press box. My God. That press box coach is guiding you. He's shielding you. Yes. He's protecting you. Come on. He's covering you. I want you to know today, as we leave down from this pass, yes, no matter what you go through, yes. there's another coach uh -huh. in the press box that you cannot see. And he's ushering you. Yes, he's guiding you. Yes. He's picking you up. Yes, he's protecting you. Uh -huh. He's shielding you. church. Amen. We have a few birthdays that we've already celebrated. Just want to shout them out real quick before we leave. Special shout out to St. Tanita Perez Robinson, Amen. who had a birthday this week. Mm -hmm. Also on today, we have a triplet of sorts, mm. St. Audra and St. Asia Devon, Amen. who turned 32 years old yes. on today. Amen. We also have St. Trinity Turner, who turns 11 well, today. Amen. We want to be a blessing to them. Amen. We want to be a blessing to them. So I want to ask them to type in their 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 their, their whatever device they have, Cash App or whatever. Be a blessing to them. Amen. Sow a seed to them. Amen. And we want to be a blessing on their special day. All, all four of them will receive a special blessing from their church. Let's keep praying for one another, church. Amen. Let's keep praying for one another. Let's keep loving each other as we keep on going forward. Amen. I pledge my life to the church of God for what it has done for me. What a befitting song. I was thinking about that as I was preparing to stand. And what a way to close out this church, this Passover of a declaration of pledging our life, dedicating it to this great church. Can we stand as we be dismissed? Dismissed from this place, but never from this presence. This is the
close of our worship experience of the Passover. But we are still admonished to govern ourselves accordingly until the sundown. Amen. 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 As we pray for the saints, our Father which art in heaven. Our Father which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth. Thy will be done in earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debts. As we forgive our debts. And lead us not into temptation. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom. And the power. And the power. And the glory. And the glory. Forever. Forever. Amen. Amen. Jude 124 and 25. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Now unto him that is able to keep To present you faultless before his presence with exceeding great joy, with exceeding great joy, with exceeding. Yeah.